Welcome back to Taiwan Outlook. Joining us today is Professor Yanfen Chen. She's the chairperson of the National Taiwan University's Sociology Department. Professor Chen, we've been talking about uh, how to improve mm -hmm. our lab, labor, foreign labor, labor policy. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that uh, we should allow the foreign workers to change their employers. Mm -hmm. How about other things that can be done in, to mm -hmm. improve the situation? Mm -hmm. I think we should allow them to stay as long as they can find work. Mm -hmm. uh, we can limit the, the total number of foreign workers who work here. Yeah. But we don't uh, need this type of policy that always replacing, replenishing uh, new workers. Yeah. And uh, so after six years, you have another group of new workers to come yeah. here. Mm -hmm. And I think that to, this, this is a win-win situation. Actually, a lot of employers would love to keep their uh, workers, mm -hmm. if, if they you know interact well and they they like each other, why mm -hmm. not? Yeah, that's right. And uh, so I think the only problem now is really our immigration policy that mm -hmm. says that if you stay here for s over seven seven years, then you can apply, apply for the season. for a, a permanent yeah. permanent resident. Yeah. So they are afraid of foreign workers being applying. Okay. Uh, so I think th there's, there should be a very consistent mm -hmm. uh, policy revision yeah. in terms of this. And uh, I think the uh, Hong Kong situation can be really, uh, um, you, you know, we should take a look at how they, they work mm -hmm. and their policy. Yeah. Uh, they really allow the, uh, the foreign workers to stay as long as they, have, uh, they can find work. That's right. you know, they, they have this... Uh, Waiting period, like mm -hmm. for you know, between two years. Uh, I mean, uh, in two weeks, that okay. you, if you can find job, you don't have to return home. Okay. Uh, another important issue that uh, mm -hmm. a comprehensive immigration mm -hmm. policy has to deal with the, is the issue of foreign uh, spouses. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us the uh, mm -hmm. the um, this recent situation mm -hmm. uh -huh. of the cross border marriages in Taiwan? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, the cross border marriages. Uh, occur in great number in the mid 1990s mm -hmm. and uh, uh, till now the number is about the same uh, mm -hmm. for like five years but then the composition of this population has some uh, has changed mm -hmm. I should say uh, the foreign spouses the number of foreign spouses namely those from uh, Southeast Asia uh, is in decline mm -hmm. for uh, several years. Okay. But the number of uh, spouses from mainland China has increased. Mm -hmm. So then you will see the total number is remain the same. How how many how many uh, cross border couples have you? Like uh, in three hundred thousand, mm -hmm. and or more than like thirty two uh, uh, three hundred twenty. Uh, Twenty thousand, something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what kind of problem we have to face in terms of the increasing mm -hmm. number or the certain number of foreign mm -hmm. spouses? Mm -hmm. uh, we we have been seeing uh, people who married um, foreign spouses mm -hmm. are uh, lower in class and education, and also in uh, employment mm -hmm. situation. And mm -hmm. some of them are even. Uh, handicapped mm -hmm. uh, people who need care, mm -hmm. uh, consist, consistent care. So we are seeing they, these uh, families in, we will say, double disadvantages. Mm -hmm. you know, namely, they are disadvantaged in the first place mm -hmm. uh, in terms of class situation. And now their family has a new member yeah. from a foreign country. Mm -hmm. um, and they are here to know become wives mm -hmm. and giving birth to the next generation mm -hmm. so immediately they are really um, interacting with with uh, our very intimate life yeah. um, family you know and uh, raising ch children mm -hmm. school system mm -hmm. and community so it's whole different issues from foreign workers foreign yeah. workers they uh, you know, they interact with each other during mm -hmm. weekends mm -hmm. and only uh, work for the employers mm -hmm. during weekdays. Yeah. But then uh, for foreign spouses, they really encounter great problems mm -hmm. when they enter such intimate sphere of our uh, life. Mm -hmm. And so 
you know, they really need help. Yeah, but do you think our government has a comprehensive policy in mm -hmm. addressing the issue? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, our, our government really try to integrate them as, mm -hmm. as uh, soon as possible. And yeah. I think in terms of language learning, that's, that's, that's true that they need to integrate mm -hmm. because this will really give them the true word to, yeah. uh, to be a, a very com competent person yeah. in a new society. Mm -hmm. However, uh, the way we uh, teach them language is um, a bit uh, less planned. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, they give textbooks of uh, like primary school yeah. uh, kids, for to, kids for kids to mm -hmm. these adults, mm -hmm. and it's not right. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, other countries, for example, Sweden, they have been witnessing a lot of foreign spouses mm -hmm. into their country too, yeah. and when they educate uh, their Swedish. Uh, to the, these foreign uh, spouses, they really treat them as an adult. Yeah. So that's one thing. Another thing is that we try to teach them how to be Taiwanese, and yeah. by telling them that you should, you know, do this and that to your husbands, mm -hmm. your uh, in-laws, mm -hmm. and uh, so rigid. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's not. It's not real. I mean, yeah. in Taiwan, we have been doing this and that. Yeah. There's no one way we are mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. But then when we teach them, we say, this is Taiwan society. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. And, and so when we analyze the textbooks, it's, it's not uh, really, uh, I should say, mature yeah. uh, way of, of, of doing that. But you point out a very important issue, that mm -hmm. is the uh, whether Taiwan is ready for multicultural, mm. uh, you know, uh, world, yes. multicultural society, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or are we trying to integrate all the foreign workers mm -hmm. into our own beliefs, mm -hmm. own lifestyles, mm -hmm. and so on? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. uh, I think we we are not ready. Um, we, as a, a society that has been closed to all kinds of immigration for such a long time. Yeah. Uh, now we suddenly have to face the, not only the foreigners, but also the mixed blood yeah. uh, kids. And what do we ex expect them to become? Mm -hmm. I think the mainstream now is still, well, call them Taiwanese children, right? Yeah. Taiwanese, uh, but really neglect the fact that they are, they are from mixed cultural, mm -hmm. mixed uh, nationality, yeah. family. And I think this is our uh, challenge, but also our opportunity, really, mm -hmm. uh, to tap into the diversity in terms of populations. Mm -hmm. uh, biologists all know that diversity is good yeah, right. for, for ecology. Mm -hmm. And also, actually, biologists prove that mixed, mixed race, mm -hmm. mixed blood, is good for yeah. society. Yeah. Now, we, you know, we have seen, we have been seeing uh, society like U.S. Mm -hmm. They intentionally mm -hmm. try to bring in people from all over the world, yeah. um, and this is like the, what they call immigrant diversity. Mm -hmm. So you think that the government mm -hmm. should be more, you know, open towards yes. this kind of foreign mm -hmm. spouses, foreign yes, workers? Yes, then we will know. We will have more uh, next generation who can speak Thai. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese, yeah. Vietnamese, Indonesia, mm -hmm. and which is is good, yeah. because if we want to internationalize our our uh, society, this is our asset. But as really. you say, that uh, mm -hmm. is already ready. Our, our society ready mm -hmm. for that kind of, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. multicultural, very diverse cultural mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we can really um, learn from other countries a lot mm -hmm. because yeah. we are not the first country that witness such a uh, number, huge number of, of immigration. Mm -hmm. uh, so what other countries have done, um, you know, it's, it's, there are a lot of wisdoms there. Mm -hmm. we, we are late comers, yeah. so to speak. Um, mm -hmm. So we, we should take advantage of mm -hmm. being a late comer, not mm -hmm. the pioneer. Yeah. Looking around, mm -hmm. do you see any Asian countries that mm -hmm. maybe Taiwan can copy or learn from? In terms of a more mm -hmm. diverse, uh, you mm -hmm. know, policy mm -hmm. towards the foreign workers, uh, mainly 
Asian countries have been famous for their being restricting. <laughs> so some of the countries, they want to learn from us. They oh, really? think that we are more open mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, to others. So I think uh, what we should uh, learn is, is to uh, look at the reality of globalization mm -hmm. today. That if we try to close our door, it's not, wor it's not going to work. Yeah. Uh, so we, we, we should really uh, face uh, the reality, but be balanced about it. And I think the uh, better policy is not always in Asia, yeah. because Asians have been uh, more nationalistic, yeah. so to speak. They are, uh, a lot of countries like ours really yeah. are favoring the, uh, the homogeneity, not, yeah. not diversity. Mm -hmm. So we should learn from other countries that adopt mm -hmm. uh, multiculturalism. But some people argue that mm -hmm. maybe that's culturally uh, mm -hmm. in embedded. In other mm -hmm. words, in, in terms of uh, mm -hmm. receiving foreign workers, yes. maybe mm -hmm. Asians are in general mm -hmm. uh, less receptive to the mm -hmm. foreign workers. And it's very difficult to overcome these cultural barriers. Mm -hmm. But I think that can be changed. Mm -hmm. Like what I say, that we have been accepting a lot of workers into our families yeah. and so you know in terms of that we we have gone we have gone so very far really we, right. it's not like we are uh, you know we are so afraid of them and uh, mm. in general we are not xenophobia yeah, fortunately right. Taiwanese are not xenophobia mm -hmm. in, in you know the, you know, the people who feel scared of foreigners, we, mm -hmm. what we, that's what we call xenophobia. That's right. And from a lot of surveys we have uh, looked at, uh, Taiwanese, you know, they actually they think that we are all migrants from somewhere else. That's right. So it's, it's easy for them to think other's situation. And uh, even some uh, really elderly people, they will tell me that, um, you know, to become immigrants mm. is to really follow your dream. Yeah, yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, if we can have any policy suggestions for mm -hmm. our government, mm -hmm. what do you think should be the first priority mm -hmm. for our government in, in terms of presenting a more comprehensive immigration policy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we should uh, have an immigration policy based on skill. Mm -hmm. And uh, we set up some numbers for uh, Foreign, uh, foreign blue collar workers to become residents. We set a uh, you know, number mm -hmm. and, and put up descriptions what kind of workers we, we want. Yeah. And so we can, we can have a managed policy. But it's more comprehensive this way than say absolutely no to mm -hmm. uh, blue collar workers. Okay. So I think this is what we need to do is to have a skill base mm -hmm. uh, system. So there shouldn't be any quota or any uh, there control? Sh there number. should be. They all, there's always a quota. I mm -hmm. think quota system is, is uh, in, in, in need yeah. uh, for getting some control. Mm -hmm. And how about uh, mm -hmm. immigration policy for foreign spouses? Uh, for foreign spouses, I think it's more like uh, the the acculturation and the education, mm -hmm. and um, and also public education. Mm -hmm. Not only education, uh, you know, uh, about these foreign spouses mm -hmm. uh, within this population. It's really public education how we uh, look at the situation and mm -hmm. treasure the situation yeah. even more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the long run, in the mm -hmm. end, you mm -hmm. know. What kind of uh, society you're hoping to develop Taiwan into by mm -hmm. bringing more and more foreign workers mm -hmm. uh, or foreign spouses to mm -hmm. Taiwan? Mm -hmm. uh, most of the migration comes as a natural wave. Mm -hmm. uh, one cannot hope to have more or less. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's something that you cannot uh, close mm -hmm. your door about. So what I'm I would love to see is that we have a fair policy of accepting people uh, and integrating people mm -hmm. and and especially for the next generation to have the equal opportunities mm -hmm. as, as all natives have. Yeah. 
And so that's what I would love to see. No, no differences. Once they are in, mm -hmm. we, we should really treat them as, as us. Thank you very much, Professor mm -hmm. Zhang. Thank you. Thank you. And Professor Yevin Zhen, Chairperson of the Sociology Department at National Taiwan University. Thank you for watching Taiwan Outlook, and see you next week.